Hi guys, welcome to Meet the Wolf Nerd. It's Mike here again. I'm product manager at the A. Schneider Group. Here in Meet the Wolf Nerd, we work together to propound solutions to the everyday challenges confronting piping and design engineers, purchasers, maintenance guys, and HSE engineers. Behind Meet the Wolf Nerd, there are experts with many years of experience in the field of instrumentation and double block and feed valves, among others for oil, gas, and chemical applications. Okay, you can also put it more simply, we are the absolute valve nerds. We are guys that can spend a lot of time talking about, for example, application challenges, temperature limits, pressure tests, and so on. In today's video, I'm going to talk about where replacing a single ball valve with a double block and bleed valve can improve your effectiveness. So watch this video to the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to get notified of all interesting videos. Let's get it rolling. Valve design standards from organizations like the American Petroleum Institute, API, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, and others define the terms double block and bleed and double isolate and bleed in different ways. If you want to know more about these definitions and their meanings for different valve designs, check out our video mentioned in the description with a detailed explanation. By talking about the term double block and bleed in the following, we mean the definition according OSHA. This definition describes the use of three independently operating valves two for isolation and one for venting, which are incorporated in a single valve body. Our Taurus series DBB valves with two balls for isolation and one separate vent valve for venting match these requirements. Taurus series DBB valves provide great savings in weight, space and installation times, especially in instrument or instrument cage isolation compared to using comparable installations with separate valves. These savings can be as much as 60% in weight and studies have shown that a minus 70% installation time saving is also possible. However, the greatest savings are to be seen in the reduction of leak paths to the atmosphere, therefore reducing the risk of the potential hazards this entails. Having this design specification in mind at our Taurus series, we came along the point of face-to-face -face dimensions. One of the major benefits is that the double block and bleed pipeline ball valve of the Taurus series has the same face-to-face -face dimension as a single block ball valve. And because the length of a single block ball valve is specified in SME B16.10 and in API 6D, the valve can easily be installed into an existing pipeline without the need for any rework on the pipeline. And the implication of this is that you then have the possibility to exchange an already installed single ball valve with a double block and bleed valve without taking care of all the action which is necessary to adjust the distance between the two flanges of the pipeline. Now let's consider a scenario. Due to the increased safety requirements, you get the task to change all single ball valves in a specific application to a double block and bleed pipeline valve. If I can look into your thoughts, your presumption would be, oh my gosh, how many flange connections are affected? Yes, to some extent that may be right, as disconnecting the pipeline flange implies shortening the pipe, preparing the weld seam, welding the new flange on the new position, testing the weld seam, doing the painting and all of these daunting tasks. But the good news is that there are DBB valves with ASME B16.10 face-to-face -face dimension available in the market to meet this demand if you will consider replacing that single ball valve by a double block and bleed valve, like our Tower series ball valves. Besides this main benefit, there are others which correspond with the short length. These are saving space when planning new piping, reducing weight, especially on ships or offshore applications, and saving costs, especially for exotic materials like alloys 625 or similar. Now, seeing those benefits for our customers, we realized that we had to specify the ASME B16.10 dimension wherever possible in our design specification to enable them to make the right choice of replacing the single ball valve by a DBB valve or not. And today we can say that for our Taurus two-piece design, we can offer the ASME B16.10 length for most of the sizes. Cavity venting is provided by either a ball or needle valve, so that trap pressure between the two isolation valves is safely vented. These valves have also evolved to encompass the function of chemical injection with inbuilt check valves integrated into these valves to reduce fugitive emissions. 
good, are you making progress? After that video, you should perfectly know why replacing a single ball valve with a double block and beat valve like our Taurus series can improve your effectiveness. And that is why we are here. At Valve Nerds, we work closely with our customers in everyday life to make your job easier. So whenever you have a challenge with a project, just come up with a problem. You can immediately contact us directly via the comment section and we will advise you individually. And if you would like to get inspired by the Valve Nerds and it sounds like something that could help you grow your business, make sure to join our channel Meet the Valve Nerd by subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a like and share with your friends and on social media. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, I remain Michael, your Valve Nerd. Bye for now.